President of the United States. Mr. President, on behalf of Steve Forbes of BIB, BOA, and USIA, and our distinguished members of Congress and others, we are honored that you could join us today for the signing of this historic agreement. Your presence reflects your commitment to the close and enduring partnership between the United States and Israel. Your strong support for the Voice of America and Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, for our modernization programs has meant a great deal, and now we also have the help of Israel. We are grateful for your leadership in our modernization efforts, Mr. President, and hope that you will have a few words to say on this occasion. <laughs> okay, Charles. I do please be seated. Well, I want to welcome Minister Yaakobi and Director General Gov, Professor Rubenstein, and all the other distinguished guests. And I'm delighted that the exchange of letters between myself and then Prime Minister Perez some two and a half years ago has now come to fruition in this agreement for a relay station in Israel, through which the reach and clarity of the Voice of America, Radio Liberty, and Radio Free Europe will be so significantly enhanced. Peoples throughout the Eastern blocs will be the beneficiaries. My administration, with the kind of bipartisan congressional backing that I would certainly welcome for all our programs, remains dedicated to the long overdue modernization of our international broadcasting capability. Israel's fine gesture has now made a major contribution to that worldwide effort. With this signing, our special historical relationship will be given another dimension. We could not be happier in this partnership with Israel because it will result in the broader dissemination of those values which we have in common. We stand now together in promoting the exchange of information and ideas throughout the world as we've stood before and will continue to stand as partners in seeking the free movement of people and the promotion of democratic values and beliefs. Our international broadcasts are dedicated to presenting through news and features an objective picture of American society and through commentary a clear statement of American policies and positions on major world issues. To those deprived of the right to express or experience a diversity of views in their own societies, we offer the chance to hear such. At the bottom of it all lies the conviction that the fewer the barriers to communication in the world, the better the chance for success in international relations. I have often expressed that as it's better to be talking to each other than inst instead of talking about each other. We owe the government of Israel our gratitude for being host to the site, and I ask its distinguished representatives here today to convey that to Prime Minister Shamir and others in their government who played major roles in advancing the project. To the negotiators on both sides, my congratulations, and to all of you, my best wishes for the future of this new cooperative venture. And now, I think we shall all witness the signing. Thank you, Mr.